Greetings and hello, my name is CG Plays, and this is Gatherer. And we're this little, uh, white little pip dot thing right here. And we're trying to escape the oncoming void that's consuming the world behind us from the left. We've got our food down here, our water over here, and this right here is our time. When the timer reaches six, the void moves forward, and every action we take takes time. So right here on this little piece of grass here, there's a hair. And you see this says 441 there. It'll take me four food and four water and one, uh, amount of time to move onto this hair, and the hair moved away so we didn't get them, so we can't get their food. Not that we really need it, we're at max food anyways, and I don't think we can store a surplus, or maybe we can. No, those are upgrade slots, not food slots. And there's certain things that, like, you can stand over here. This is an altar, and you can sacrifice things on an altar to uh, get, like, upgrades. But first I want to check out what the stone circle does here and walk on this. Sacrifice for tile. Three food, three water, and a turn. I will click this. And I got plus 20 score. This is your score down here. And it gave me a tile. Okay. You can also click to get tiles. It'll cost you, uh, like, turns. And we're just trying to, like, move over to the right here. I guess I'll put it right here. And that's, uh, that's the desert. That's the mountain. You can't go over the mountains. Do I want to walk on the grass for some shrooms over here? I think I will. Could maybe gotten the hair there. Eat shrooms, gain 20 food. 60% chance of success, but it takes two turns. I will do that in the void has come closer. I could take the time to kill the hare, but I don't really need to because we're at max food. So let's go over to the, al the altar here. And um, I guess you gain like score for moving around. Make a sacrifice, cost five food and five water. And that was very loud in my ears. Gotta turn my volume down a little bit. And now we get to pick an upgrade. I think this one looks really good. A kettle can be used to boil and drink seawater. So for low on water, we can just go to the sea and get from there, which seems really good. Not that the sea is here, but I imagine like we'll find other spots for sea when we go around. What do we want to do here? Go to the forests? No, uh, go to the path. I think we're going to left click over here. they will give us a new tile and I can use this to like try and create a path over towards that. Again, I don't think we're ready to set. Make another tile here. The void has moved forward. Another tile. We'll put you right here. Now we got a path forward. Do I get the food? No, nah, the hair can just let us we'll let it move for a little bit. It's gonna cost us a lot of water to go through the desert there, but we need to begin making a path forward. Desert shrine. It'll cost me 15 water in two turns, but let's check out this shrine. What does it do? 10 food and 10 water to activate it. What will you do? Push back the void. Interesting. So shrines can push back the void. We're burning through so much water going through the desert. There's a problem. What happens when you run out of water and food is that actions just take a lot longer to do. So it's the, the the void will catch up to you quicker. I need to find some water ASAP. Um, I just I guess I'll walk over here and see how it's gonna, this is going to take so much more time. It's like 12 to move over here. Uh, shrooms gives us food, but not water. Cactus might give us water. Let's check this out. Cactus gives us, yes, five food, five water. Not great there. That's food there. I need water. I guess we'll click the left button. So it doesn't cost me any food or water to left click, but it does move the void, the time faster. I need, I need water and I need it yesterday. I left click again. There's some water. Beautiful. We'll just kind of put it right there, I think. And we can make a little pit stop there to hydrate ourselves up a little bit. We've burnt that void. Is, the void's it's catching up to us. Boil and drink. Oh, it's sea water. But because I have the kettle, I can still make it happen. It's really time consuming though, but I'm not sure if it's better just like dehydrate or what, but we're going to have to make it work here. The void's really catching up pretty quickly as I sit here doing this, but at the end of the day, I don't, I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure if the kettle's worth it. Two turns or 10 water. That's like 20 turns just to fully rehydrate, but I mean, our choices are limited. Note to self, I really need to stay away from the desert. It's devastating. Grass doesn't really seem to cost as much to move through, does it? All right, forest berries. Let's go over here. I mean, we lost 14 water just moving two tiles that go through over there. So, I mean, we just lose a lot of water regardless. Berries, 25. I will pick those. Okay, that's good. Keep our food going. Do I want to go up here? No, I'll left click for a new tile. I don't think you can rotate them. I don't want to touch the desert either. I'll put you right here. Some berries. I will walk the berries here and pick berries for 25 food. Yes. The cactus only gives us five food and five water and it costs 15 water. So, it's literally not even worth walking onto. Left click again here. Maybe some Whatever this is, walk through this, see if we can find anything good here. Anything useful? Berries. I will get some tasty berries here. Pick the berries for 25 food. That's good. Really got to keep my food up. I'll walk here to see what's on these hill tiles. Nothing great. Maybe I'll... Do I really want to check out all these hill tiles? They're very expensive to walk over. I'll try something new here. I'll put this right here. And I guess we'll just walk on this forest a little bit easier. And the void's fairly far back there, but I'd like to be a little bit farther ahead. That's not a great tile for us. Do I even want to mess with that? I could have you somehow connect this maybe? No, I don't want to walk on those hills. I'll just put you like out of the way back here and grab another tile. Mountains again. Okay, tragic. Go over here. Try again. All right, I guess we'll... Do we want to like go up there? I guess we can walk across this way and lose some... There we go. 
Go for the hair. The hair could stop moving for us. Yes. Hunt the hair. 35 food. Fantastic. Desert Shrine is going to cost me some water. And I don't have enough food and water to activate it to push back the void a little bit. The void's not that close. We can ignore it. I'm having a hard time getting water here. Oh, hello. Water in the, in the hill. I see pickberries. I love that for me. There is a hill lake right here that I passed by like a doofus. And we, ooh, the void's really catching up. We can see 30 water for only... Uh, Two turns for 30 water. That's like triple the value of the kettle. Because the kettle's good for emergencies, though. I'm going to go ahead and go to the hill stone circle here. And sacrifice for a tile. I don't really understand the value of this. It takes me a turn to get there, a turn to use it. I mean, I can't... I guess... Maybe it's supposed to be like a slightly more time efficient way to get a tile. I have my doubts about this. Where do I want to go? Do I want to work, work my way to the right here? To the upright. Maybe to the like upright here a little bit. You can put that there. Oh, I guess you can do it again. And I, can I like use my WSD to like move or arrow keys? No, we can't really scroll up there. I can put you there maybe. And uh, that's fine. And I guess we'll go here again and get some more water like this. 94 is good enough. Move up here. I'm not sure I want to walk all the way around here. I guess we're going to have to. We're getting very low on food. We are struggling here. I feel like the kettle, eh, we could have a better choice here. I don't think I have the necessary things to make the sacrifice on the altar. Maybe get the, the berries first here and get some food. Now we can maybe afford whatever the altar costs. Five and five for a sacrifice. And my ear is just deafened by lightning. Plus one vision range. I f that honestly could be fairly useful. Movement cost on C reduced by 30%. I feel like I don't walk through C very often. P gain plus five food and gathering plants. That's honestly fairly useful. I think we're going for the plus one vision range. That way I can know if I need to go to a certain tile or not. That could be pretty useful. Let's drink some water here, although my food situation is not looking great by any means. I'll just top it all the way up. And oh, there's, oh wait, there's food up there. I need to make a path up to this if I can. And then, oh, hello, hill lookout shrooms. Let's go check out the, the lookout and the shrooms here. And use lookout tower. I don't have enough food, but I can get some food from the shrooms there. Beautiful. Use lookout tower. 10 out of 10. What's this do? Just give us... Ah, uh, just reveals things from further away. Okay. Go to the grass stone circle here. Sacrifice for a tile, I guess. Do I even want to do that? I guess I can. Connect that. That'll be great. I need to go get some food from this, the fish over here. The void's really catching up to us. A bit of a problem. Um, catch fish. Uh, 35. That's fantastic. Do I want to go through the mountain? Um, I wish I could see what's on the other side of the mountain. I like dragon. I, I, I want to see. Oh, I left click and brought a thing. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. You can go over there, I guess. Um... Boil and drink water? No. I'll go through mountains just to see what's over there. Great. That's kind of not... Okay, now we know, but <laughs> not really what I was looking to have happen. I guess we can make it work. Go through over here. Get the fishes if I can. We are not doing great here. All right, where's the fish going to move? I need to get you. Come here, fish. Yeah, catch fish. Only 27% chance, but we got to try. We're getting lucky on the getting things. Boil. A little bit of water. How much water do I lose? None for... We're losing no water for moving. Losing a lot of food, though. A little bit of water here because we're going to need it going through the desert. We are... A little bit struggling here. Boil and drink. Maybe a bit. Walk over here. We're starving. Go to the little fish here. Catch the fish. Food's doing better. Walk here. Maybe we get... The, the void's like far enough back that I feel like I can sit back and top up on water. I feel like that's something we're going to really need here. All right. It does take a lot of turns. The kettle, I mean, it is It's. It is useful. It is helping out here. We, we will use the lookout here. Do I need the lookout? I mean, we'll try it. It does reveal things from quite a distance here, which also makes my plus one vision range less relevant get some tasty berries here because we are starving and things take it's like quadruple the amount of time used when you're uh starving or dehydrated which is a bit of an issue i am very much struggling to keep ourselves topped off here i could get some uh keep my water situation looking tidy they're really catching up behind me though and i can put you here do i do i want to go through here don't know that i fully do well, i guess now there's more water for us but alas we are not doing great on the food front here i just need to I guess keep moving ever forward. It's it really catches up to you when you when you're when you're hungry, bro. Give me some give me some tasty snackies. It's not looking great for us. I'll be the first to admit it. I feel like perhaps we could have picked better upgrades. Wait, no, no. I mean, I should have clicked that. I need to get you, my my dear friend. Stay stay still. Yes, hunt the deer. Deer escape. That's unlucky. Pick the berries. That's good. Deer, I need you to stay still. I need to succeed this. That's not great. I need you to stay still. I need to succeed this. Fantastic. That's a lot of food. All right, we're in a, we're in a much better situation here. The void's really catching up, though. I will pick some berries. Lovely. And I could go for boiling water, but I think I'm going to pass. Let's just see if I can find some... Oh, hello, a grass lake. Beautiful. Give me a list. I think I'm focusing too much on, like, moving forward, and I can just kind of chill, check out stuff nearby me so I can see if there's food like this. Beautiful. A little bit of berries for us. All right, keep checking our things here. Ah, I don't really want to go through the 
desert if I can help it, so I'd rather like bypass that if at all possible. Check this over here. We can do a path right to here. Desert, not bad. We've got some water there. Might have been good. Desert Shrine. All right, it's going to cost some food and water, but push the void back one tile. I feel like pushing the void back one tile. I mean, if you can do it multiple times like this, it's actually not not terrible. I do need to top up on my water. I think I might have gone a little bit overboard in pushing the uh, the stuff back there, but it could have been worse, I guess. I need food. Give me give me food. I uh, don't think deserts. I mean, I guess I'll take a little bit of food. It adds up, I suppose. We are a thirsty boy. Is going through the water going to be better? It costs 15 water to go through the desert in two turns. It costs 15 food to go through the sea. I'm actually better off in the desert right now. My food situation, not amazing. Okay, this is probably not super great for us here. Can I get something useful here? I can't even place this tile. Tragic. Put it down here. Hope for something better. There we go. Maybe I can work with this. R wander my way through here. At least I, like, I guess going through the cactus, this is a little bit of a net gain on food. And the the desert at least costs no food to go through, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but I can work with it. I can put this tile right here, and I guess we can just kind of like run our way down through here. And Oh man, we're going through times four, time multiplier. The hair, stay still for me. I'll hunt you with good odds and get that food. Beautiful. What is this? A cactus and an oasis. Okay. Uh, drink from oasis takes three turns, so it's not the best way to get water, but it does get us water. Get some food from the cactus. More water. Keep nice and hydrated here. And let's go to the altar here and see if we can get a nice little uh, sacrifice here. Uh, my ears, I forget the lightning every time. Religious, sacrificial costs reduced by 40%. I feel, so normally the sacrifice costs 10 and 10 for the thing to push the void back. Now it would be six and six, so not terrible. I already have plus one vision range and there's the, the lookout towers were fairly common. Resilient, decreases movement penalty when starving or dehydrated. Depending on how much it uh, decreases it, could be pretty good. I will take this. Normally it's a 4x multiplier when starving dehydrated. If I get that down to like 3x, it might be okay. Do I want to do this stone circle to push him back? I'm not really that sur... I don't have that much of a surplus on food, so maybe not so much. Maybe we need to get our food in a better situation. We'll find more of those later on. Mm, I can't actually walk through the mountain, so I'm going to do that there and do I get some better stuff connect up here. Sure, walk through this. I could really use something called food. You're doing me dirty here on the food front. About to find out what that multiplier is. What is this? Vision range 3. Desert Shrine is for... Is that for pushing back the stuff? This is question mark. Oh, that's just the... This is the thing. If you're curious, you can pause the video and read these tiles up here. Got the how, the time, the resource, the travel. I read all this before I started playing the game here. Um, the, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. The compass points towards where the nearest altar is. So I need to go down. Um, I should be working my way downwards if I can. Uh, I guess we can work over and downwards, perhaps. I need to check the shrine out here. What we got in the shrine? That's right, it just cost 10, 10 to move it back. It's fine. I'll go to... Oh, we're, ah, so you only have a times three multiplier. That's not so bad. I mean, it's still not great, but it's better than what it was before. I'm not sure where the other side of the... Oh, there's no path found. I think we need to work our way downwards would be good. I could check that out, but I, the, the altar is down, and altars are good. Okay, I don't want that per se. Oh, there's food there. I'll check this out here. Get some food here. We are, Oh, we got times six multiplier because they're both. But it would be times eight, so it's a little bit better, but that void's going to be catching up to us really quick here. Um, I could... Oh, you're killing me with with this any no nothing there give me something good i just i'll walk down here oh man they are not uh cooperating mountains don't thank you i guess we'll do this give me more to work with here please it says the altar's to the right now you gotta give me some food man you gotta give me something give me anything all right uh, i guess kind of like forge in a forest or something nope guess we'll check this cactus out hello altar i will eat this i don't have the resources to do anything with you i need to get lucky with some uh y you gotta give me some food or something you're 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 killing me here water i mean i guess i'll take the water but that's really not good enough i need food get that and come on give me, give me some give me some food around here you have to feed me man where what does a man gotta do to get nourishment up in this realm there's just no food anywhere you might not be able to get this altar if i don't have the food for it all right we are in a we're in a world of pain and hurt here so i can't get any uh uh food anywhere water we're good I'm also hydrate up here i think the altar's just gonna have to like go the way of the dodo here you're Oh, there! Oh, there it is! Finally, so much that. Oh, there's a deer there the whole time. Crap! We've had gotten a deer. I will catch the fish. Come on! I needed to not have you get away from me. Catch the fish here. There we go. Rest in peace, that altar. But we can find another. Let's kind of like maybe I make my way to like down at the bottom right over here and hope to find some goodness. No, maybe it is important to kind of interconnect these things. Why can't I place this here? Right, there we go. I mean, I guess I can keep my water nice and topped up here. The food situation is atrocious. The game does not like to give me food. We'll. I feel like going down the cat. I'll. Is it going the cactus would have been worth it. Like the second we touch four, so we just lose that food anyways, right? Another altar. Wait, a deer. Yes, give me beautiful, tasty food. No, don't you run from me. I want your food. Now we're talking. Make a sacrifice. Give me something good. 
My god, my ears. Hmm, movement uh, cost on C reduced by 30%, or I can get plus one vision range. Honestly, it would not be terrible, because seeing that dirt deer earlier. Or sacrificial cost reduced by 40%. I'm not really using the, the, the sacrifice to push it back much. I'm just trying to survive. Maybe move reduce my movement cost on C. I'm seeing more Cs lately. Hello, berries. I will take these berries here. It's more food. Now we're doing a little bit better. And now we got to work our way to the right is where the next altar is. So we'll... Oh, mountains don't want that. Just want to find my way to the right here. And not only cost 10 food to move across the sea instead of 15. That's actually not a terrible upgrade to have. We are capped at 5 upgrades though. I would love to have more, but alas. No dice. I don't want to go through a bunch of mountains if at all possible. So... Or hills. This is not ideal pathing for us here. Realist, realistically speaking here. The mountains are really killing it for me. I guess we're going the long way around. We're dehydrated. I don't know. Stop, stop, stop. And we're going to stop in this. Get some water here. Get ourselves nice and topped up all the way. Let's check the shrooms here. Eat some shrooms. It all adds up. Beautiful. And let's put down... Nope, not not mountain range. Thank you very much. Oh, but boy, they love giving you mountains right now. Oh, I am not looking to be a mountaineer at this moment. At this particular junction in time, mountains are not what I desire or need. We had a nice little bit of progress over here. And... Oh, it's to the upright. It must be, it must be in here or up here where that altar is. I can actually work my way through this. Pricey though it may be. We are starving. A common theme I'm noticing that... Uh, Starvation is a problem we have in our life, but there's some food for us. That's good. Grass is not too terrible to move through. It must be up here. We gotta work our way up here. Guess that'll have to do. Walk through this. And any food. There's the altar in a difficult to reach spot. I need to find can this get through to I can. I don't have unfortunately, once again, I don't have the ability to um activate it because I don't have any food. Unless there's gonna be something on this forest tile here. There's a deer. I also need I also need water. Oh boy, you're you're really making life hard here for me. That's might be one we just aren't able to get by the looks of things. I can get enough food. I can go down there and get water first and come back for the food later. Will that work? I guess I can try it. Oh the void's really catching up. Maybe we've made a poor life choice. Um I can't afford that. I guess we're just go over here and just eat I guess it's just tough luck for that one. Let's boil some water here. Get the multiplier down a little bit. Let's get some fish. They, before they run away, catch the fish. Catch the fish. Nope. All right. Try to get you again. Need to keep myself nice and handy. All right. Now we're doing a lot better. The water is actually doing great things for us. We're going to boil ourselves up a bunch of water here. Get nice and properly hydrated. Love that for us. I need you to fill my belly. No. The altar, the rest in peace, that altar, unfortunately. And I guess we're going to keep, oops, didn't mean to place you there, but we'll, we'll make it work. I've got a stone circle here. I guess we can sacrifice for a tile. I guess it costs, it's just like less time. That's got to be better, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't give it as a choice to us. Well, I want you around here. Maybe it's just more like more time efficient with the uh, the thing behind us. There's all oh, that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's got to be good, right? Because you can like just spam it and the void it doesn't... It doesn't really move the void forward that much. Surely. Surely it's worth it. I'm just going to put all this stuff around here and just hope for, like, good things to happen. Though we are bringing through, like, a lot of food. But let's just connect all this stuff over here and well, let's really hope for the best. Sure. I think I need to go over to you and kind of re-up my food supply here. My dear friend, don't you run from me. You will be in my belly eventually. You can resist all you want, but my little guy will eat you here and rejoice afterwards. Some fish here for us. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Give myself some water here. Nice and topped up. And I guess we just keep running away. Trans 5, hello. Okay, now we got some food going. I like the the, the sea. It's been great for us here. We're staying nicely fed and hydrated with the sea. My next altar is to the upright, so perhaps I've gone in the wrong direction here, but we'll try and see. I, I need to go way up. Wait, no, it's saying it's up to the top left. Wait, which, which, what, what altars are you pointing at, my friend? Shrooms? Where's this altar at? You can't seem to... It's telling me it's like up this way. I think we just pass, pass that one by and uh, go through here and starve very much slow. so going through the water water makes me hungry i guess i guess swimming would be pretty like resource intensive right it's can't seem to make up its mind about telling me where the altar is there probably is a lot around me and it's having a hard time deciding which one it wants to point me towards got some shrooms in the sh in the in the hill here i'm not doing great on the resource front up oh, what happens i don't know how we ate the I ate the shrooms and like we like had a negative effect. Weird. Desert Shrine, no good to me. I, I guess we'll go down here and look for uh, possibly there's some resources down here. Doesn't seem to be the case. What about over here? At the very least, I can get some water. So get that times six down to times three. I need more of these uh, resilient things. Those are pretty good. Hello, fish in an altar. Hello. Catch the fish. Nope. Boil and drink. And I will get this fish. Now we're doing a much better situation. We can top up our water and we'll actually maybe be able to get the altar. I think we might run out of food on the way there, but I mean, 
We can try, how, what's it gonna cost? It's gonna cost 35 food to get there. That's not gonna work out for me. What about this, still 35 food. I need to find like some food along the way. I don't know that the game wants to cooperate, go through mountain, I don't know that I want to. Surely there's food here somewhere. Alas, again, we don't have the resources for the altar, but I can get the hill lookout. Nope, Never mind. I don't have the, oh, berries, there we go. I don't have the resource for that either. I need more food reduction things. Give me berries. Can I make it now? Nope, again, not enough. What about this, more food? No, fine. The mountain over here, you can chill out over there. Got some green stuff here. It doesn't seem to be doing us a whole lot of good. Let's keep moving along here. Give me, just give me like a bunch of fish in here. No, nothing. What about this here? Berries, maybe we can make this work. Berries gives us 25 food. And now we can make it to the altar. Beautiful, love that for us. And make a sacrifice and fill up our fifth slot. Oh, my ears, the lightning, it's so too loud compared to everything else. Plus 20 water capacity is not terrible. Plus 20 food capacity is not terrible. Moving on grass is no time cost. That is actually, I think I've, I've read a comment. I'll take this. I read a comment that um, they said that Ryan is, the, the developer knows about this, but they haven't, like, they haven't fixed it yet. Apparently you can like exploit the game for score. So my score is 47.35 down here. And since we're moving on grass has no time cost, you can actually sit here and move back and forth forever. Even if your water goes down to zero, because it has no time penalty, you can literally sit here and manipulate your score forever. So technically, I could keep doing this until the end of time. Did that just appear over there? I wait. Why is it like I saw an F, there's something over there? I could do this until the end of time for infinite score. I could I could just do this. Wait, why is why is land appearing to my right as I move forth? Is that how this game works? As you move more and more, land will randomly appear. So I can like sit here and like oh, I can just like cheese the fact that land will appear for me periodically and just use that to my advantage maybe but i don't really care about score it's all about surviving but so let's not go back to playing for real but let's go get some water but apparently you could probably uh, cheese that for a while until the developer patches out which i think they're in the process of trying to do i've got enough water what i need is like i need a path out of here i don't think desert's gonna be it i uh, might be stuck on desert oh there's some food over there if i can go get this buy me a little bit of time here and some water oops that's not where i want to place that I gotta be more careful because i'll work towards it no no stop on the stop on the water we're gonna need that get myself to full here as the oncoming void makes its way towards us the slow unavoidable inevitability of defeat here let's get some food from this beautiful eat some cactus stay alive here and i'll put this down here what do you have a little bit of cactus down there i guess we can burn through inordinate amount of water and uh eat this right here a little bit of the back. Ah, the beautiful green stuff. Not quite what I'm looking for, though. And I'll walk through here. Give me some goods. No? I'm just... I, th I'm, I, I want to go until either I die or, like, I, uh, you know, kind of want to find out if I can have six upgrades or if I can replace them from, like... I think maybe you can up... Oh, I think you can upgrade the upgrades that you have. Maybe that's the thing. I think I read somebody talking about upgrades. Fish. Hello, fish. Yep, I do want to catch you. Never mind. Move down there. Fine. I will get you. Catch fish. Catch fish. Give me. Beautiful. Let's rehydrate a little bit. No longer dealing with like the massive time penalty. The kettle is actually proving to be, I think, fairly useful. Might have actually been a pretty good upgrade for us. Might have done nicely. Can I make it to you in time? I could spend some stuff to push you back, but I'm less concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the altar and we will use you. Ta-da. Ow, my ears. Jeez. Choose an upgrade. All right, so I think maybe we can like replace the ones we have. Increased chance of catching animals is not terrible. Water sack plus 20 water capacity, that's that's okay. Navigator increases compass accuracy. That's not terrible either, but let's go for an increased chance of catching animals. We'll click that. It's like the upper, ah, you have to replace something. What do we replace? I think, um, let's replace, I mean, the, no time cost on the grass is terrible. Let's get rid of the vision, maybe. So you just, re so it looks like you just replace ones that you have, unless there's a chance to like upgrade them. I'm curious, if you get the same one twice, can you upgrade it? I would love to know that. Let's go get some shrooms and uh, try not to starve here. There we go. Go get some berries as well. Delicious for us. And we'll start putting things down and we'll find some water. There we go. And go get some value out of our kettle. Drink our way up to full here. All right, there we go. And keep putting the stuff down. Maybe walk here to see what's around us. I'm going to miss the extra vision range, I think, but... Oh, hello. I think we might be okay without it. Come here, fish. Don't you escape me. 76% chance to catch it. I guess that thing's coming handy a little bit. The higher, like, hunting odds. I want to try and push you back. I feel like the shrines, I'm doing fine without pushing it back, so... Maybe no pushing back. The altar... There's an altar over there somewhere. I should probably just work towards the other bits of land. That's probably where the altars spawn on their bits of land, right? Shroom's tasty. I don't actually need that hill lake just yet, but I mean, I might as well go ahead and get it because by the time I get there, I'll need it. And let's try and work our way upwards if we can here. Ooh, an oasis. I'll check this out here. 
Drink from the Oasis, that's fine. Keeps me hydrated as I work up here. Hmm, Stone Circles for pushing it back. I think the Shrine and the Stone Circle both do the same thing of pushing it back. It's the upright. I think it's up over here somewhere, maybe. Let's, ooh, man, it's costing so much food and water to get over here. I could use more stuff, but I need to get to the, I need to get to the, I don't want mountains. Go away. I need to get to the, uh, the good stuff. Come on, give me some berries, maybe, uh, uh, some water. Berries, I'll take these. Helps with the starving. There is an altar up here somewhere, so I need to get my sweet little cheeks up to here. I also need to have food. Can I make it to you? Eight and eight. I will have just enough to do it, so let's go ahead and make a sacrifice here. Ah, my ears. It keeps not giving me duplicates. Sacrificial cost reduced by 40% maybe helps the make the altar be cheaper. More food from gathering plants could be good. Maybe get more food for plants. What do I want to replace? And eh, maybe the rider. Well, they'll, they'll, it'll catch up to us sooner, but whatever. We we need to get more bang for a buck on the food fronts. All right, I, man, talk about taking the long way around here. I walked past berries up there. That was dumb of me. I should have canceled, but now we get our water situation sorted. That's good. All right, I may regret the removing the rider hello dear and friends i will pick some berries i'll go for you and i will eat you come on i'll get some water along the way since you moved away from me and the water's right there and i need you to stop resisting my mouth put down some more things around here for us and go looking for this next altar hello berries now we're talking the extra five i think may you know add up for some value for us it all counts it all makes a difference. I will go ahead and get some cactus. Ooh, the extra cactus makes cactus is much more useful, I'd say. Double their food value. Where is it altered? Down bottom right, you say? All right. Maybe that compass actually would be more useful. Um, uh, desert cactus shrine. I don't know if I want that. You're really uh, not giving me the things I need around here. Oh, hello. I guess we're going to walk down here. I don't know if it's fully worth it, but I mean, just to walk and pick it up costs more than I have, right? On the waterfront, we boil and we drink and we move ever onwards. Where is this altar? It's got to be down there, I think. Is it worth trying to get down there? If I go to the hill lookout, it costs stuff to use. A That's a sleeping bear. Use lookout tower. I mean, just for science. Don't you run for me. Oh, it, 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 it attacked me. Bear attack, minus 25, minus 25. But, but can I fight it? I cannot fight it. It's just a hazard. Well, that's good to know. There's my altar. So the bears you won't avoid. They just hit you for 25 food and 25 water. So that's a thing to be concerned and aware of. Well, now I know. Bears exist. And he's kind of like, hunt me down. Berries value, though. I get some water or something, though, around here. Maybe like a little bit of water in these hills, perhaps. The bear is kind of hunting me down by the looks of things. I don't love that for me. Is that just like a part of the game now? Is that like getting hunted by a bear? Seems like it. Why don't you go back to sleep? You were sleeping before. Oh, no. Bear's going to get me, right? Ow. He hunt the deer. He, went, he goes to sleep after he hits me. Let's get, boil some water here. Quickly move away from you. Oh, there's fish up there. I need to not be dehydrated, though. Fish, you had to move away as soon as I went there. Let's see how it is. Give me your fishy goodness. Get some water going. The bear is awake. I don't think he goes in the water though, so that's useful for me. I am going to skedaddle. Yeah, sit back on the land, bear. The bear was a, a, a difficult experience for us, but we have learned from it. Do I go for here for the food? I think I do. Get some food from here. Eat that. Back in the water. Drink the water. We are low on food, but we're, we're, we're exactly at zero, so we're not like starving yet. So I might as well fully hydrate here because we're about to be in a bit of trouble. Um, That's not what I'm looking for. This is not what I'm looking for either. What about... This we're getting in a little bit. It's getting a little bit dicey here with uh, what's happening behind us. Okay, I think we're in trouble now. Oh boy, we're not getting the tiles we need. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I can work with this. We are in trouble. This may be the end of the run. It was bound to happen eventually. The moment might be now. We need to keep moving forward. Give me resources. Water, not what I need. Um, I guess I can. Do I drink from it on the t on the on my way through? It's gamble. I don't know that we. Won't, I don't think I drink through it again. Can I get food? A hair. Don't you run from me here. Stop moving around. Give me deliciousness. Thank you. I can work with that. All right, let's look for more stuff here. Any uh, goods and resources you want to give to me this day? I don't know. I need to find a path. Of Stop giving me mountains. Mountains are not what I need right now. Oops, cancel that. Didn't mean to move that much. I kind of missed the vision range. I feel like the vision range was good, and I should have held on to it. There we go. I feel like this sea is like the best thing I can get, because sometimes it has these fish that give us 35 food. I can boil and drink up my water here. I mean, we're still in this for now. I wouldn't mind getting another altar to switch out my upgrades a little bit. Kettle, good. Hunter, good. Um, what would I, what would I replace next? This saves me five food every time I walk through water, which is a lot. This is a game changer resilient. Hunter, I think we could probably swap out. Forger, I mean, I mean, maybe. Not sure which, but we're doing the, we're, we're back in it all of a sudden. I see this hair down here and I'm going to go for him. Try and eat them. Don't you run for me and make freaky 
squeaky noises. I will eat you. How am I at 98% chance and I missed? How? I want, the, I want this fish though. Hmm, do I go for this water here? Or just like boil the water I'm already in? I guess boil the water I'm already in. Alright, so we'll guess, guess we're going to work our way over here into the desert. And uh, I wonder if there's going to be like more hazards like the bear. Hold on, hold on. There's an altar somewhere upward. Maybe there's one in here as well. I could use another altar. Would be good. Go over here. Got some berries. Fantastic. Now we're talking. And I see this deer and I do intend to eat it. My water situation could be better. Deer, you had to move that time. Really? For that, I eat you and put you in my stomach. I am not doing great on the waterfront. Is there water in this hill? Sir says, no, there's a lookout. I'm actually not going to use it because I don't have the water. But if I put water here, move into the water and drink from it, then I will have the water to activate the hill and decide where to go from. No, know where to go. All right, to the hill we go. Use it. Okay, now we know what's going on here. Got an altar there. Will I have enough food by the time I get there? There's a lot of food down there, so for survivability, go down here. But I want that altar. So let's put something down here and hope it's good no food i need food i need there we go now we're talking i can use this a little bit of luck around these altars for a change give me the deer yeah, that's a bit unlucky try it again give me the deer give me the berries fantastic is it worth it i lose 15 water and only get five back i'm just gonna go to the uh, altar and make a sacrifice and oh my ears okay kind of remember that time wait a second wait a second i got forager again i've got mountaineer gain the ability to climb over mountains that seems really good, but what I'm most curious about right now is can I use Forager to combine with the Forager I already have so they get like a plus 10 food and gathering plants. So I'm going to click you, select the upgrade you want to replace. No, it doesn't seem like it. I'll click gather, I'll click Forager just in case. Nope, it still says gain plus food, five food and gathering plants, but just to make sure, I'm going to go up here to these berries and I'm going to see if it's going to give me 35. I kind of doubt it, but like I need to know for science, is there like combining of upgrades? No, it's still just, wait, no. Is it, is it, is, did it up, did it combine? Or was it always 30? I think it was always 25, then we had it to 30. I don't think it started at 20. Honestly, I'm not sure at this point. Shrooms I knew were always 20. If we find shrooms, then we'll know for sure. I think. I'm not sure. I don't think it combined. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it. I could be wrong. At this point, I think we've I've kind of established that like if you play your cards right, you can kind of go basically indefinitely. So maybe it's time to say sweet, sweet farewell to the world. Because I think I can just kind of go forever. And especially if I picked better up like do it again with better altar upgrades, I could go forever. I think it's time we embrace the sweet, sweet void. I've proven that I have the skills to last effectively until the end of time. So for now, the, the void, take me into your sweet, sweet arms. I believe in you. All right, that's it. Fun game. I like it. But there it is. You love to see it. Smash a like button. Let's go.